for a, a long time. It's the wealth gap, the rich and poor gap. But before we begin, we always start with very expert jokers. They come from the U.S. They study stand-up comedian for a long time. Live from Comedy Central, let's present Mitchell. Ladies and gentlemen, Mitchell. So what did you think for this between two clips here? 
Yes. The first clip in the tribes of rich people. He is a Saudi Arabian king. He went to France for vacation with 1,000 people in his entourage. And more than 400 expensive cars support him. And the beach was closed because of him. So you can imagine how rich he is. But the second clip describes poor people. These people in Africa, they are dying. They are dying of hunger. So, why are there two extreme opposite sides in our world today? The answer is because of the widening wealth gap. And this is the topic I will talk today. In this topic, I will talk about some reasons that make the gap between rich and poor wider. And then, I will talk, give some negative facts of widening wealth gap. And finally, I will, I will give some example about the gap. But first, let me define what wealth gap is. The gap between rich and poor people called that is called wealth gap. According to us friend research, one percent of rich people in our world own his wealth. It increased his wealth forty-four percent in two thousand and nine to forty-eight percent in two thousand and 14, and their wealth will increase more than 50% in 2016. So, what is that? It means the gap between the rich and the poor is increasing, increasing year by year. Yeah. Now, what are what are some reasons that make the gap between the rich and the poor wider? The first reason is technology. Why? Technology? Technology develops very fast. And machine, all from us, can, can do many unskilled work. Even now they can do many skilled work. And those people who can improve, who can adapt with new technology, who can control or who, who can control the machine, they will be easily to find a job. And of course, have a lot of money. <coughs> Another hand, unskilled workers is usually poor people. They lose their job. And they become poor. And another reason is poor governance. Government in many countries just focus on economic growth. They don't care or they don't focus on the bad effects of economic growth, such as destroy or distrust environment. Poor environment will affect directly to poor people. Here, maybe farmers or fishermen. Another problem with poor governance is corruption. And I think every people here can understand very clearly how corruption affects directly to poor people. <laughs> so, Technology and poor governance are two important reasons that make the gap between the rich and poor wider. Let me start to some negative impacts of 
the well, widening wealth gap. The first net impact I want I want to discuss here is social discrimination. Rich people often think they are in higher class. They don't want to be friends with poor people. They don't want to be friends. They don't want to work with poor people. They even behave badly to poor people too. While poor people think, oh, I'm in lower, I'm in lower class. So they, they are being discontented with their life and with the society. They may, may do bad things to their life or bad things to the society too. So, but, and another, and another reason. The second reason, uh, what, the second negative impact here is the rate of illiteracy. Poor families, poor families, they cannot afford to send their children to school. When their children grow up, become adults. They don't, they don't have skill, they don't have a job. And to think, when their children grow up, they, have, they become parents, they have their children, they, their children poor too. And their lives, are going round and round in the circle. So, two main net impacts of the widening wealth gap are social discrimination and the higher rate of illiteracy. Finally, I will give some examples about the gap. Let's have Africa. According to Oxfam research, 90% poor people in Africa own 600 billion US dollars, over 28,000 billion US dollars. That means 90% poor people own 20% wealth. Another example, 90% poor people in Europe, they own 26,500 billion US dollars, over 85,000 billion US dollars. It means 90% poor people in Europe own 30% wealth. So based on two examples, you can see, the gap between the rich and poor in, the, in Africa higher than the gap between the rich and poor in Europe. And the results of it, you saw it in the second year. So, to summarize my report today, I talked about two reasons that make the gap between the rich and poor wider. They are the technology and poor governance. I also talked about two risks, two negative impacts of wealth, widening wealth gap. One is social discrimination, and another is high rate of illiteracy. And I gave two examples about the gap, one in Africa and one in Europe. Moreover, each country, each country has different conditions. Therefore, there may, there may be various causes of widening wealth gap. But, and, in my opinion, very is very hard to narrow the gap.
But if we work together, we work together. We can discuss with, especially with government officials. There may be a chance to prevent the inequality of distribution of wealth. And I hope you have yet knowledge of my report today. And I at heart, every we can work together and fight with terrible inequality. Once again, my name is Tony. Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Tony. Can we uh, move there a little bit? Because we have a joker. Chico, are you ready? Chico is scared, so don't worry. <laughs> He's been practicing this for a week. <laughs> okay. Um, you have the word illiteracy. How do you spell? I. 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 Tony, what do you mean by that word? The word illiteracy. Illiteracy. <laughs> Illiteracy word means the people don't have education. They don't have, they, they even go to school, they don't have education. Okay, thank you. Next word. Discrimination. Discrimination. The word decrement is discrimination means the people when they think another people are lower than they are, or they, 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 they don't like that these people because the people in lower class or something like this. Okay, thank you. Well, good afternoon, Tony. So could you please pronounce the word G-A-P? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Okay. Next, the word is H O P E. Hope. One more time. Hope. <laughs> and the other one, C A U S E S. U. Causes. Again. Causes. Mm -hmm. Causes. 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 Yes. Not causes. Okay. Causes. Thank you. Hello. Good afternoon, Tony. Okay, my, my question is very easy. Why should we care about wealth inequality? You should You should care about wealth inequality. Inequality. Because in my report, I just give it two negative impacts of inequality, wealth inequality. But actually, there are many, there are many negative impacts of this. Maybe like that, we can say that social unrest. That's one another reason, because the time here, I got enough time to describe everything. But I think that there are not many things. So people should care about this. Because when people care about this, I think this society will be better. Hello, Tony. Uh, this is my question. You mentioned about negative impacts of well, yeah, how about the positive impacts to our society? <laughs> wow, this question may be very simple, but I think very difficult to answer. Because the time I'm researched uh, neck impacts. But I think the positive impacts of wealth gaps here, we make people try, some people are like, okay, I'm not higher, I'm not rich, I have to try to get or to gain their, their, their opportunity in higher, become richer. 
And I think they have many other uh, uh, positive side in here. Okay, follow up question. Now, tell me, some economists believe that inequality is needed to reward hard work, talent, and innovation. What is your opinion about this idea? Inequality is natural. Inequality is natural. <laughs> so, actually, um, I'm sorry, I'm not understanding clearly about this. What do you mean? Okay, so. Um, Inequality is needed to reward people who are hardworking, people with talent, and people who innovate. Okay, so we have two kinds of people, hardworking and lazy people. That's why there are rich people, because they work hard. So inequality is needed to reward them. Yes. I think uh, it, uh, some different kinds of people, they are the ones who work and they are poor. Of course, I think they are men still have in a lot of country. But I think this kind of people, not many people like this. Many people want to improve, want to study, or want to work hard to get higher. Because no people like I'm poor. No people like I'm poor. I'm poor. Because the important here, I say that social discrimination. When people, another people look down. So, Many, I think many people want to work hard, try to, to, to get higher in position, higher or richer. So there are some people, certain people, they don't want to work, they are poor. But I think it's not the larger people, just smaller people. Okay. So nowadays, people, like rich people are becoming richer and poor people are becoming poorer. So, who do you think is responsible for the widening gap between the rich and the poor, and why? I think the main person here, or the main people here, have a responsibility about the gap between rich and poor, is the government. The government. Why? Governments, the people to control the country. They control the country, how the country can develop. So, 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 the government is very important. And these people, I think it's a important people, can change or can make the country better or Thank you. Okay, we have Pika in here. Hello, Tony. Okay, um, my question, um, my question is related to your country. What is the current condition of wealth gap in your country, in Vietnam? Um, so here is your question. <laughs> Actually, my country is a developing country. I think there are many things similar to Philippines. The problem in my country now, and I think sometimes when I talk or think about this, I'm not feel happy because the gap between the rich and poor is very high in my country. And why? And what is the reason? And I think the reason in my country is corruption. And now, many poor people still work, try to work hard to get very low salary. They work hard. And there are very sad story. Just maybe uh, not five months ago. Five months ago. A student, student, she's studying in the the three, the level three in elementary. She went to work, no breakfast, and she feel tired. So 
the teacher he called his father, her father to take her house, take her home. On the way to her house, she ride the motor, she ride the bicycle. On the way to her house, cross the bridge, cross the bridge, and when he took on the bridge, she tied and she pulled down the roof. And that time, the water very short, so blow her away. So she died. So this is one of the, I think, this was the one of the reason. And poor people, of course, people don't like poor, but they have no choice. They try to do most, but they can't. And now, this father always feels that, always feels that. And he said, I wish I can have money that time. I can buy something. I can buy something for my daughter. But okay, I'll follow up question. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so the the current situation is bad. Now, if you were the president of Vietnam, what would you do differently? Very <laughs> deep, <laughs> <laughs> difficult questions. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, but if I were, I were president in Vietnam, the first thing I have to change is. The first thing I think I have to change or to solve that corruption. And I think if I can solve the corruption, my country will develop smarter and the, the, the gap between rich and poor will now down. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Uh, do you think the most business people control economy in the world? Are your opinion? Do you think the richest people control the economy? In my opinion, not almost, but I think there are some people they can control the government because based on their power. People that money, money is power. And if people they are rich, they will have many power. And it can affect the government, affect to some leader of the country. And of course, the leader country we control or give some law, some policy, harbor many benefits for rich people. And of course, rich people become rich people. Uh, we, uh, my question is, we are in a capitalistic system, right? Yes. So, uh, it's, it seems like a, it's not class society, but it's it is. It's class society. Like according to money, right? Money is the power. Money is the rank. So uh, that's why we have wealth gap. That's actually is class. And if we don't have that gap, then there's no difference between uh, capitalism and socialism, right? So what's the I idol, ideal, ideal, ideal condition of wealth gap? <laughs> Actually, uh, some country have tried to go to socialists or communists, but still until now, I think capitalists still the is still. I think it's still a good thing. Because many people now, they have a job. Why? They want to work hard because the company. Because have a people, they have a lot of money. They can open the factory, open the company, and they hire many people. And many people will have a job. And of course, in capitalism, capitalism they, always, they always think if people work hard, 
they will get a higher salary, they get higher benefit. If they both don't work hard, they have a lower and very, very clear about this. And I think until now, capitalism is still, I think, very suitable in, in our society now. And what's the ideal condition in wealth gap? The ideal condition. I mean, ideal state. Wealth gap. Wealth gap. Yeah. Yeah. Condition. Yeah. State. I mean. Situation. Yeah. We have wealth gap, right? Because it's capitalism. Mm. So what's the ideal state? I, ideal state. You don't like big wealth gap, but what's the ideal? Uh, or what's the ideal uh, limit of wealth gap for a good capitalism? Uh, is there like a very good, you know, uh, why, uh, how wide is the wealth gap standard? Yes, okay. I think there's no ideal space of wealth gap because different countries, they will have different conditions. And my report say that. So it depends on the country. Maybe that country is very narrow, that's okay. But another country may be higher, that's okay. So I think here depends on the country. And of course the government the this the government is the person have to know and to decide what to do to make the country in the good development. Wow. Wow. Good afternoon, Tony Boy. Tony <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Everyone's asking about wealth inequality, yeah, but I would like to ask the opposite. Tony, do we still have a chance to experience wealth equality? Yes. Do we still have a chance? I'm just worried about our future. <laughs> Chance, is there a chance for wealth equality? Yes, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very, very difficult, right? But in my uh, in the my conclusion in my report said that I only said very hard to narrow, very hard to narrow the gap. So I think we don't have a chance. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> yeah. But here we chance in uh, wealth. But here I think, and we have a chance uh, equal in another meeting. Because not always equal in money or wealth. Maybe equal in another way. So it depends. Depends on the person of thinking of people. Okay, I think okay, that's it equal. But another people is not equal. So I think depends on the situation. Wow. Hello, Tony. Um, because I am not rich, I am poor. <laughs> Should I blame the government in the Philippines?